Hi everybody, my name is Todd Brannon and I am the Accidental Excellus. This is video number 12 in a series of tutorials that I'm doing on creating a simple Microsoft Access database CRUD style app. And really what I mean by that is creating a full-fledged application or database where you can, uh, or what we're doing is creating front-end forms to work from, to uh, work with our data, enter new data, view current data and, and edit and even delete that current data. And it's a simple uh, database, just one table, but we're creating forms and we've gotten up to three forms now. Uh, in the last video, we created our all customers form. This is our main form that we're showing here. Uh, if you are just now jumping in in this video and you wanna go back and see how we created this, just go back in the previous videos and we created this from the ground up. And so we've got our add new button. So if we click that, it goes to our new customer form where we can enter in uh, a new record. And a couple of the features here, aside from the obvious design features, is we've got, we know that this is a new record uh, because it's got the uh, new key, uh, our, our new word here in uh, parentheses. And if we go to our customers table real quick, you'll see if we uh, control down all the way down to the bottom, you may be familiar with this if you've worked in Access before. If not, this is what um, the next available row looks like. In our first field here, it'll have that new in parentheses. So if we go back to the form, we know that that's the ID currently. Uh, this form also opens by default on the current date. And then if you click into the, the field there, uh, the date picker or the date picker with the little calendar icon shows up and you can actually change that date manually. So once you start typing something, uh, now it automatically goes to the new record ID, which is uh, sequential. And again, if I go back to the customers uh, table here, the raw table, you can see the last record was 5004. So that's why this is showing up as 5005. This tabs through, uh, you can save it with the save button or if you know anything about Microsoft Access, if you tab all the way through, it'll cycle back to a new record and it will automatically save your new record. You can close this, you click on the close button, it goes back to the main form. Let me just close that raw table. And so that's the other part of what we've done so far. We've added these buttons so they don't, remain open, the, the forms don't remain open so it doesn't fill up with a bunch of tabs here, it just toggles back and forth from those forms. We've got a couple of other buttons here. We haven't wired this view all button up yet. We're gonna wire that up so it opens up the all customers form and this is what we did in the last video. So what we need to do in this video is we need to uh, work with the sizes of these fields because we've got like for instance, the email address is not quite wide enough and perhaps this ID column is too wide, we can shorten that up a little bit. So we're gonna work on that in this video. We're gonna fix these uh, labels at the top of the column so they're a little more um, normal. They don't look so much like database fields. So um, we'll just put spaces between the words and capitalize the first one. That's, that's what I'm referring to. And eventually what we're gonna do is we're gonna limit this form to being just like four or five fields. And then we're gonna add a button on the end or on the right end of each of these rows so you can click on that button and see the full detail of that particular record. So let's get back to uh, working with the uh, design of this form. I'll go to uh, the design view. All right, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna close the property sheet for now because I'm just gonna be working on some design details. And so let's go to the, let's click into the ID field and then uh, go over here and let's just go to the right side where that double arrow shows up and then just bring that in a little bit. I'm just kind of eyeballing it at this point. And then um, the other thing I wanna do is I just want these four fields. I just want ID, first name, last name, and email address. And if I want to see further detail, I'll add the button that allows us to, you know, if we click on that button, we can see the full detail of that given uh, record. So let's go ahead and let's go up here to the uh, ruler up top and I'm going to drag and drop that all the way over to the last field. And then I'm just going to press delete. 
And so let me, while I'm here, let me go ahead and highlight email address again. And let's lengthen that out because it needed some more length. Some of those were getting cut off. So I can go back to design, or I mean, a, a form view and see how it looks now. So this is looking much better. I'm actually pretty happy with this. So the next thing, actually, let me go in and fix these labels. So let's go back to design view. And so I need um, to actually activate the property sheet again. And I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go to like first name and I'm going to go to uh, format and up at, up at the top here in mine, just find caption. Mine's at the very top and I'll click into that and I'll add a space between first and name and then uh, click out of that and it fixes it up here for me. Uh, then I'll do the same for these other fields, just, you know, just doing some editing so it looks a little more professional. It doesn't look like we just left a bunch of database field names up there. And so now, I, now I've got that done, I'll go back to form view and things are looking better. I could actually change this and I will actually uh, change that ID field. Let me go ahead and go in here and just show you that I can just I can actually put anything in a, in there that I want. I'm just going to put customer ID. And I think that might be too long at this point, but I can check it. Let me go back to form view. Uh yeah, obviously. So let me <laughs> I'm going to have to widen that just a little bit for the sake of that label so we can come over here and um uh, let me just choose yeah. So there we go. Let me bring that out right to about there. I think that should be good. So yeah, we're looking good there. Customer ID. And then uh, that's just a little more descriptive for um, the user. So let's go in here and uh, go back to design view. And let's um, click on the button and let's put a button in here right out to the side. And let's just kind of eyeball it there for a little bit. Um, so yeah, so this, okay, so we've got the command button wizard. And so this is going to be a form operation. So we're going to open our a form, but we've yet to, um, actually create that form. So let me cancel that. Actually, let me just leave it here until we create the form. It's actually going to be a form based on the new customer form. It's going to be basically that template with the ability to, uh, delete like with a delete button and and things like that so let me uh, go in here and I want to change the caption to uh, we'll do um, we'll just put detail you can put whatever you want sometimes um, I've created apps like this where I put like more or you know I don't know more detail uh, but we'll just put detail this time and so that way when we click on this button eventually what, we're, what we'll have is if we go to like 4007 here we'll click on the detail it'll bring up um, a, a, like a form that's the same template as the new customer form with everything pre-populated with the existing data for that record and then you could go in there and you could change like the name or the email address or something like that and save the changes. Or if you wanted to delete the record altogether, you could do that. So, so far we're looking good from a design standpoint. In the next video, we'll fix this or we'll set up that uh, other form and we'll connect it to the detail buttons. So uh, we'll get that functioning. So I will see you in the next video. Thanks everybody for watching. Please take a minute to like and subscribe, and be sure to check us out at theaccidentalexcellist.com.